Hey guys, as promised, I'll do a clip about my SIF filter. So here are my koi pond. The water is crystal clear. So now I'm going to go. But this, uh, this clip is not about the pond. It's about the clip filter that I've been um, trying to make one clip for you guys for a while now. So all you got says to uh, get around to do it. Let's get straight into the SIF filter. This SIF filter is all DIY, so, um, and it's pretty cheap actually, and it's really, really effective. Uh, this, um, this container here, plastic tote container, is about $8. This SIF here is about uh, $35. This SIF right here. And I built a frame out of using this to the, uh, the, the plastic pipes. And so you see a T here, a T, and a T, and a T. There are four T's, but make into a square box. With the four T's, um, I lined the, I lined the, the SIF filter uh, with the the, with the box, and then I used like a one inch pie to cut this to this this long and cut a slit through it. And that created like a C shape like this. What I do is I clip into the um, the SIF and that make it into a frame. So this frame does not use any um, nails or any glue or anything at all. So from here, I have three pipes that run from three pipes that leading out, and also three pipes leading out from this side too. And, and what it does is just leaks the clean water into my aquaponic system. And it's the same for both sides. Three pipes that from this side lead to my aquaponic system. And here, the SIF collects all the fish waste, and eventually the fish waste will go into this weir here. And what it does is, this only built to collect all the fish waste. So all the sea water will flow, it, flow back here, and here, the, if any water is dirty or a fish can collect here, and eventually this waste get heavy enough where it pushes down to here. And where it comes to here, it flow out into my uh, barrel right there, and that barrel main job, what it does is just uh, kind of collect all the fish waste. So let's go to that barrel. So the water from the sift filter, uh, the waste water from the sift filter will flow to here and go down. And you can see down there, it have um, it cut into a T, and with one leading that way. And one flowing this this way, so it creates that swirl effect. With the swirl effect, um, all the big solid will fall, will fall down, will stay down, and then all the small solid will float float up and will come into three of this pipe here. Three of this pipe will drain into my bucket. Each of this bucket will have holes cut along the side, and inside each bucket have a paint uh, two paint. Uh, Strainer, paint strainer, and I find that the paint strainer works really, really well, especially if you have a low flow of water. With a low flow of water, when it runs through a paint strainer, they will pick up almost every particle, and that's what it does. And then I'll clean the paint strainer maybe once a week, and then also I drain this uh, barrel here, but that contains all the fish waste once a week too. And all you do is you know unplug that. A cap there and then you're done. You let it drain all the way down and then you're done. And that is once a week and I also clean, um, drain this four barrel here also once a week too and this four barrels are actually getting the water from the skimmers. Skimmer right there and skimmer right there. And it's also do once a week too. So once a week all I do is you know un unplug that cap there, let, let that drain and here I take a broom and I beat on the uh, all the caps and then unplug all the, whole, the cap there and let that drain. So take about 10, uh, 10, 10 minutes actually, 10 minutes to get all this clean and clear like and you see so much fish waste come out of uh, this four barrel and especially that barrel right there and 10 minutes without getting your hand dirty at all. So that is the best thing about a sift filter is that it will help the whole system because all it does is just all the job is going to do is take out the fish waste. That's all it's going to do. And the way I build them is very effective, where it will take out mostly all the fish waste that will go through the system.
and we'll collect over there and that barrel right there so that barrel is very important so back to the back to the pond so with this pond with the sift filter it helps it so much that you can see I have so much fish in there and I feed them so often that they do produce a lot of waste and it's crystal clear you will see down all the way down to the bottom and people said yes I do have a lot of people say hey man you have too much fish in this pond which is true I do have too much fish in this pond but if your water condition is good why well, can't you you can have a pond that is big a big pond but you can have like about five fish and if, if, if your future is not good they are they are going to going to suffer but it's all about how you build your filter and this clip is about the sift filter where it's all this only job it's going to do is collect the fish waste and take it out of the system and then once a week i drain that barrel right there and that pretty much it all the waste are out so when you build a koi pond whatever you do your goal is to make it as easy as possible for you because when you build a pond you don't want to spend too much work on it you know you want to enjoy that pond so with this pond i will only have to clean the barrel once a week and to clean them i don't have to do any hard work at all i just unplug the valve or take out the caps and let the water drain out and all those waters are just dirty water from the fish poop and fish waste and then once i'm done put back the cap turn on to I'll turn off the valve and then turn on my pond turn on my pond again and then re refill up the water and that's all you got to do and when you look at your fish you know they are are happy a lot and my fish are very happy and always willing to eat and they can eat a lot and the, the conditions of my pond is just amazing so that's pretty much it guys if you guys have any questions about the sift filter just let me know and I can try to help you guys out it's really cheap to build um, and it's not that expensive at all to just be a little bit um, pre creative on how you build them so that sift right there all in the back does not require any nails or any glue whatsoever just a little bit of PVC pipes you know and then you're done so that's it guys thank you if you guys have any questions just let me know bye